Welcome to the Tourist Week channel. The most beautiful, most fascinating destinations in the world. For those who love adventure, without ever stopping, for those who love to explore the world, alone or in company. For the curious, for wild people who love nature, for those who love to travel with their love. Discover this fabulous world of travel for yourself, daydream and get inspired on your next destination. Whether it is near or far, it will be your next experience to live. Tourist Week today offers you a new idea for your next vacation, the 10 places to visit in. Argentina! The second largest country in the South American continent which occupies, together with Chile, the long tapered tail of South America. Being so extensive it also offers a variety of landscapes depending on the area visited and the time of year in which the trip is made. Indicatively it can be divided into four large areas, the Andes to the west, the Fertile Plains to the north, the Pampas in the center and Patagonia to the south. In the center of Buenos Aires, with its stylish buildings, it seems to be in Paris. There are numerous tree-lined avenues and parks to see, the picturesque neighborhoods of San Telmo and La Boca and historic buildings. The Andes area is the one that preserves the traditions and evidence of the colonial past. In Patagonia and Tierra del Fuego, there are numerous species of animals and flora that are not found in other areas of South America. In the Valdez Peninsula you can see lions and elephant seals, penguins, and, at certain times of the year, whales. The official language of Argentina is Spanish. The dialect spoken in Argentina is known as Rio Platon Spanish. Argentina attracts tourists from around the world who come to explore its natural wonders, vibrant cities, and cultural heritage. Popular tourist destinations include Buenos Aires, the Iguazu Falls, the Perito Moreno Glacier, and the wine regions of Mendoza. Number 10. The Ibra Wetlands, also known as Esteros del Ibra, are located in the center and center north of the province of Corrientes, Argentina. They are a mix of swamps, bogs, stagnant lakes, lagoons, natural slough, and courses of water, covering around 15,000 to 20,000 square kilometers, making it the second largest wetland in the world after Pantanal in Brazil. Since 1982, part of the wetland is included within a provincial protected area, the Ibra Provincial Reserve, which comprises about 13,000 square kilometers, the largest of such areas in Argentina. The reserve is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including capybaras, caimans, and over 350 species of birds. The Ibra wetlands are a popular destination for ecotourism, with several campsites available for visitors to stay and explore the area. Number 9. Mount Fitzroy, also known as Cerro Chalton, Cerro Fitzroy, or simply Fitzroy, is a mountain located in Patagonia, on the border between Argentina and Chile. It is part of the southern Patagonian ice field. The mountain has an altitude of 3,405 m and was first climbed in 1952 by French alpinists Lionel Terrae and Guido Magnon. The first Europeans recorded as seeing Mount Fitzroy were the Spanish explorer Antonio de Viedma and his companions in 1783, while Argentine explorer Francisco Moreno saw the mountain on March 2, 1877 and named it Fitzroy in honor of Robert Fitzroy who, as captain of the HMS Beagle, had traveled up the Santa Cruz River in 1834 and charted much of the Patagonian coast. The mountain is a popular destination for mountaineers and hikers, with several trails available to explore the area. Number 8. Porta Madryn is a city located in the province of Chubut in Argentine Patagonia, with a population of about 93,995 inhabitants according to the last census in 2010. It is situated on the shores of Golfo Nuevo, a large deep water bay of the Atlantic Ocean, and is a popular summer destination for its beach. The city is an important center for tourists visiting the natural attractions of the peninsula Valdez and the coast, where visitors can spot sea lions, elephant seals, southern right whales, and more. 
There are several things to do in Porta Madryn, including walking with penguins, snorkeling with sea lions, taking a world-class whale-watching tour, visiting the Ecocentro, and exploring the city's beaches and museums. The city has a bus system, numerous taxis, and rental cars available for visitors to get around. Number 7. Córdoba is a city in central Argentina, in the foothills of the Sierras Chicas on the Suquia River, about 700 kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires. It is the capital of Córdoba province and the second most populous city in Argentina after Buenos Aires, with about 1.4 million inhabitants. The city is known for its rich colonial heritage and its old university, now the second largest in the country. Córdoba is also known for its historical movements, such as Cordobazo and La Reforma del 18, known as University Revolution in English. The city is surrounded by beautiful valleys, formed up by three main mountain groups, which are popular tourist destinations. Córdoba is considered the technological center of Argentina, with the Argentine spaceport located in the suburb of Falda del Carmen and the software and electronic industries advancing and becoming more important in the city. Number 6. Ushuaia is the capital of Tierra del Fuego, Antarctica, and South Atlantic Islands Province, Argentina, with a population of nearly 80,000. It is located on Ushuaia Bay at 6 meters above sea level, surrounded to the west, north, and east by the Andes Fueguinos. Ushuaia is a busy port and adventure hub, known for its landscapes of glacial valleys, peat bogs, and the snow-capped Marshall Range. The city is the southernmost city in the world and is accessed from the rest of the country by crossing part of the Andes mountain range that runs along the southern edge of Tierra del Fuego. The city's principal economic activities include lumbering, sheep raising, fishing, trapping, and tourism. Number 5. Mendoza is a city in western Argentina, in the desert Cuyo region, and is the center of the Argentinian wine industry. The city is the capital of the province of Mendoza and has a population of 115,041 with a metropolitan population of 1,055,679, making Greater Mendoza the fourth largest census metropolitan area in the country. Mendoza is known for its tree-lined streets, sunny climate, Malbec wine, and world-class restaurants and spas. The city is a bustling city of wide, leafy avenues, atmospheric plazas, and cosmopolitan cafes. Mendoza is a great place to organize tours to the vineyards, take a few dozen bottles home, or just look for a good vintage to accompany the evening's pizza. Number 4. Barilage is a city in the province of Rio Negro, Argentina, situated in the foothills of the Andes on the glacial lake now El Huapi. The city is surrounded by thousand-year-old forests, mountains covered in snow, and crystal-clear lakes. Barilage is an all-season town in the Patagonia region of Argentina and is known for its beauty of unspoiled nature, horse riding, fishing, trekking and hiking, navigation, adventure, mountain biking, and skiing. Tourism, both domestic and international, is the main economic activity of Barilage throughout the year, and the city is very popular with Brazilians, Europeans, and Israelis. The Centro Atomico Barilage is a research center of the National Atomic Energy Commission, where basic and applied research in many areas of the physical sciences is carried out. Number 3. Los Glaciers National Park is located in the southwest of Santa Cruz province in the Argentine part of Patagonia and is the largest national park in Argentina with a total surface area of 600,000 hectares. The park is an area of exceptional natural beauty with rugged, towering mountains and numerous glacial lakes, including Lake Argentino, which is 160 kilometers long. Los Glaciers owes its name to the numerous glaciers covering roughly half of the park, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The park contains independent glaciers, including the famous Perito Moreno Glacier, which is one of the few glaciers in the world that is still advancing. Los Glaciers National Park is a state-owned unit of the National System of Protected Areas.
number 2. Buenos Aires is the capital and primate city of Argentina, located on the western shore of the Rio de la Plata. The city combines faded colonial architecture with Latin passion, dynamite dining, and a robust nightlife. Buenos Aires is the fourth most populous metropolitan area in the Americas, with a population of around 15.6 million. The city is a major center for psychoanalysis, particularly the Lacanian School. Buenos Aires is also home to the largest Jewish community in Latin America and the second largest in the Western Hemisphere after the United States. The city is a massive city with sites spread all around town, including natural reserves, parks, and plazas, not to mention historical points of interest. Number 1. Iguazu Falls is a series of cataracts on the Iguazu River near the border between Argentina and Brazil. The falls are shared by the Iguazu National Park in Argentina and the Iguazu National Park in Brazil, and both parks were designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1984 and 1986, respectively. The falls vary between 60 and 82 meters in height and extend for 1.7 miles, nearly three times wider than North America's Niagara Falls, and are divided into 275 waterfalls or cataracts. The falls are one of the most important destinations in Argentina, Brazil, and South America. These are the 10 places to visit in Argentina. What are you waiting for to visit them? If you like the channel, subscribe and we will take you to the most beautiful places in the world. See you next trip with Tourist Week. Bye.